Howdy folks, here we are. Uh, it's day four of checking the line. Have a great one. JW and uh, we're on day number four, check number four of our snare and foot old set and Tommy behind the camera say hi Tommy. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting ready to go up here and check these snares up in the field, see what we got going on. Come along. Nothing in this one. It's all good. Up the trail. This is a. I like this little trail. Of course, these got deer stops on them. Oh. What do we got over here? Inside this pine tree. A nice trail coming by the pine tree. And, uh. I had a snare set there and found its mark. Worked real good. Here's those stabilizers I was telling you about. I really like those. You, they allow you to set in the field where you don't have any uh, little trees or fence posts to set with okay I'm gonna get him out of the trap and then we'll get back with you on a remake Look at this. Perfect neck catch. Look at here again. He didn't even pull whammy also. out of the whammy. He got over there around that limb and that tightened it up. Now, question for the folks, if you pull your fox out of there, and that snare's still good, can you still use that snare? Well, you probably could, but see how it looped out? More of an oval yeah, shape instead it, of a circle. Yeah. So what I'll do... I'll just change it out for now. And what we'll do here with this, if I can't remold this to be used as a snare, I'll put another loop on the other end and use it as a uh, an extension cable. Okay, so how I set these on the stabilizer, the loop, the loop goes over the stabilizer 
down past that loop in in the stabilizer and the end of the snare the loop end of the snare working in goes through there and up and there it's not going to come out and we make our loop size then we have our whammy right there stick the whammy in into the number nine gauge wire Set it back over the trail. There's a little guide branch there. Yep, little guide branch to do a couple things. It camouflages the equipment here. Forces the fox to go around. Yeah. Take a little stick here, stick in the ground there for subtle glide. That way it comes through there. Alright, so uh, what do we have here? This is a perfect example to understand why we make dirt hole sets. This is a hole dug by a fox. Uh, this is not a, there's no trap or anything here. This is strictly natural dug by the fox. The reason we know it was a fox is because we have that. And uh, they look pretty similar to what we set for uh, footholds. So that's a, that's a natural hole dug by a fox. Alright, so what we got here, this trap's been fired the last three days in a row. <laughs> this one's deer. Tell about the hair in it. Coarse white uh, foot hair. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get ahead of them here. First I'm gonna clean out my hole. Put everything over here. All that down in there. I I'm gonna offset my trap here a little bit. I think it's gonna be here, but it's gonna be over here. I could see that if it was a fox digging you or a kayak. But... That's what, well, that's what I'm going for, because the last couple times, I'm not sure what it was. This time we are, though. So you're going to make it look like it was, but just have that. Yep. You'll see bit. here in a second. I'll see you in a second. Yep. I'll learn you a little bit. Learn me? Yeah. So the way I'm going to do it is, <clears throat> I'm going to dig it out a little bit this way, so that they're not 
stepping on the uh, the levers they're stepping on the uh, the pan the jaw or whatever here so I'm gonna get some dirt and fill this in a little bit let's lift that jaw up and put it underneath of it yep. pack it down yep That way, if they step on that jaw, what? It doesn't move. It don't move. Now, this pattern's going to be where it normally was. And it's going to look, you know, like a straight end, but he's just going to cover this trap flat. So it looks like part of the side. Go get some more dirt. All right, so <clears throat> I like to get my dirt. A little bit further away fresh dirt makes them dig so you don't want to dig like right here and get more dirt for your set well, the pattern's still going to be over where it was but the traps off to the side and just flat, like if they'd come walking in from the side, yep. right? Yep. Here it is February, but the ground's working like if it was November. And we're expecting it to get up in 50s and 60s the next couple of days. stuff around the yep. edge here. All right, so I'm gonna trick them here. This is where the pan would have been. This is right? where the pan would be on this set. In here, make sure there's not too much on top of it. Here's where the pan normally would be for an offset. Here's where your pan is. No. But it still looks like it's here. So when they come to step down, they'll think they're going to dig it out, dig out right here to the side. But they're going to step right in there. Well, that's basically for say like a fox or a coyote. Problematic one that keeps digging you that out. That had the dirt, the trap go off <clears> and throw dirt in his face. Yeah, I've done that a lot. Step and stick. Yep. Yeah, we'll see if it works. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River Life is old there, older than the trees Younger than the mountains, blowing in the breeze Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia Mountain Mama, take me home 